and we can also divide or distinguish porosity into absolute and effective porosity. We start from the left picture. Again, this is the sand grain or rock grain. And here, okay, at the surface of each rock grain is the cement material. And then here, of course, we have the void space, which we call the porosity or the pores. And if the pores are connected, we call it effective or connected porosity system. Okay, if they are connected, so fluid can pass through them. Okay, because they are connected. But some porosity are ineffective because they are isolated. They are not connected with other spaces or other porosity, like this void space, like this porosity. We call it ineffective porosity. And just a typical ratio, a typical value, effective porosity is bigger usually than the ineffective porosity. In this case, the effective porosity is 25%. And in ineffective porosity is 5%. So the total porosity is 25 plus 5, which is 30%. Okay. And this one here, you can see dead end or cool the sac pore. Okay. The dead end or cool the sac pore. Then we go to the, the note on the left. Absolute porosity, it's the total pore space, okay, divided by bulk volume. Effective porosity is the interconnected pore space divided by bulk volume. Pore space may be isolated due to, due to cementation, okay. Due to cementation, the cement will, will, will be the, will, will cover, okay will cover the rock grain and somehow maybe they are joined with each other. Okay, so at some point or at some space, the isolated pores will be, will occur. Okay, will be created. Okay, and then isolated pore space doesn't contribute to recoverable fluid volume. So this is very, very important. So although the pore space contain oil or gas, but in terms of production, they will not contribute to production because they are isolated. They are not connected. Fluid cannot pass through them. Okay. But we still can produce from the ineffective porosity if we perform stimulation technique, for example, by doing hydraulic fracturing. Okay. So isolated pores can be unlocked by stimulation techniques like hydraulic fracturing. Yeah, this is another picture to show you the real picture of absolute and effective porosity. In this case, we are looking at a rock with isolated pore space and tight matrix. So the blue zone is actually the pores and the chocolate or the brown zone is the matrix or the grains. And of course, you, you, you are looking at many isolated pores, right? Just like a radial shape, something like this, they are not connected. So they, they will be ineffective in terms of production flow, okay? And we find this case usually in tight reservoir or, or tight matrix. All right. High absolute porosity. Okay. Yeah, you can see many pore spaces. So in terms of absolute porosity, the, 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 num the number is big, big absolute porosity, but virtually no effective porosity because they are not connected. Okay, there is no connection between each pore spaces. Okay, so I can say 
virtually no effective porosity results in very very low or no permeability okay so i hope it's quite clear